Today, we're going to explore what is financial minimalism. So a lot of you heard about how to be frugal and how to save money, and that is how you got to be wealthy. But that's not the whole story, but that's another topic for another day. So financial minimalism, it is about taking a less is more approach point of view when it comes to spending on unnecessary things and focusing more of your attention onto money and energy on experiences and purchases that add value to your life. It emphasizes being intentional about how you are using your money. Rather than spending money impulsively or mindlessly, you are considerate of whether a particular purchase might offer any lasting benefit. So basically, you're looking at the liabilities versus assets. So by requiring you to be more conscious of how you spend your money, becoming a minimalist with money doesn't mean you will spend a deprived lifestyle. Instead, you choose to include any of those things in your life that are meaningful to you and align with your values and minimalist belief. So forget about planning for future and long-term goals and neglect on saving and investing because financial minimalists don't do these things and they don't also worry as much about money as mentioned above. 60% of Americans say they feel anxious about thinking about their personal finances. And now it brings up to another 50% of Americans say their thinking about money in general makes them feel stress, which doesn't really have to be the case. So if you look at the benefits of financial minimalism, the exact benefits of financial minimalism can deliver will depend on how you apply it. But in general, financial minimalism can benefit you in the following ways. So first, you break down minimalist finance can help you reduce or eliminate unnecessary spending from your budget. So if you spend less, it, which helps you save a lot more money in your budget to pay off debt more quickly, and next, you'll be able to be less likely to run up new debts if you're living within or below your means. So minimalism can help you clarify and prioritize needs versus your wants in your budget. So how do you practice financial minimalism in your life? First, you gotta prioritize yourself financially, means pay yourself first. By setting aside savings more than other expenses, automated transfers to your savings to avoid spending temptations, and in today's world where materialism and consumerism reign supreme, because that's how the world works, it's easy to get caught up in the endless pursuit of more. However, financial minimalism offers a refreshing alternative. So advocating for a conscious and intentional approach to money management by focusing on what truly matters, you can simplify your life, you can also reduce your stress and achieve financial freedom. So crafting a budget for financial clarity. This one, you have to distinguish between the foundation of financial minimalism, which lies in creating a realistic and manageable budget. Begin by calculating your monthly income after taxes. Then list your essential living expenses, you, such as you got your housing, then you have your food, and then you have utilities, and you have transportation. These are not the main five, but these are in general what most people have to go through. Next, you have to create a separate list of non-essential spending. So you have including entertainment, you have dining out, you have impulse purchases. Everyone's gotta have it, you and me will have it eventually. So once you have a clear picture on your income and expenses, now subtract your expenses from your income. Ideal, you should have more money left over after this calculation. This excess can be allocated towards saving goals, debt repayment, or simply enjoying life's simple pleasures. Next, be mindful of your spending. So basically, you gotta tame yourself on the impulses to buy. Everyone's gonna come up, no matter how you train yourself, even how I train myself, it always comes up. When you see a new shiny object or car, you're gonna want it. Or a brand new computer, you're gonna want it. So by embracing financial minimalism requires a mindful approach to your spending. So first, you gotta resist the temptation of impulse buys by adopting a 48-hour rule before making unplanned purchases. So this delay allows time for reflection and can help you discern between true needs and fleeting desires. Next, you should consider on taking a 30-day no-spending challenge to curb your unnecessary expenses and break the cycle of impulse buying. This exercise can help you identify areas where your spending can be reduced and it still a sense of control over your finances, like you see on those TikTok challenges from now and then. Then the most important one, social media detox, which is unplugging for yourself from FOMO. So social media can be a breeding ground for financial discontent. I mean, you've been watching one right now, but I'm trying to help you out. Which they constantly bombarding us with images of lavish lifestyles and unattainable possessions. So to combat this, consider taking a break from social media. This can help you reevaluate what truly matters to you and avoid a lifestyle driven spending which brings down the next thing that a lot of people do neglect. Breaking free from financial burning. High interest debt can be a significant financial burning. 
so consuming a large portion of your income and hindering your ability to save. So if you prioritize paying off your debts to free up your monthly funds and alleviate stress, seeking guidance from reputable organizations, for example, the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, the NFCC, for a personalized debt management plan. Now after that plan, next you have to trim the unnecessary. This means decluttering your life and your finances. So financial minimalism extends beyond managing your finances. It also encompasses simplifying your life. Evaluate your possessions and eliminate non-essential items that clutter your space and contribute to unnecessary spending. You can donate, you can sell, you can recycle all these items to declutter your home and reinforce your commitment to the minimalist lifestyle. Now, this brings down to living below your means. To achieve true financial freedom, which comes from living within your means, it's not by chasing your ever-increasing income. You can break free from the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle and achieve a true sense of financial stability. So, if you have to get through that, you have to declutter for clarity, meaning is you have to simplify your space and your mind. By decluttering your physical space can have a profound impact on your mental clarity and financial well-being. So by discarding unnecessary items, you create a more peaceful and organized environment. This also helps reduce stress and fostering a sense of mindfulness. Now, this breaks down to the next one, which everyone needs to do, which is invest in your future. So if you invest in your future, then you have to build wealth for the long haul. Saving and investing are essential components of financial minimalism. So explore beginner-friendly investment options. You got index funds, you got robo-advisors. This will help you start building wealth for the long term. Next, you have to embrace the simple pleasures, enjoying life without breaking the bank. So financial minimalism doesn't mean you have to deprive yourself of you know, basically life's joys. It's about finding happiness in simple and affordable activities. So you can have a host that hosts potlucks for friends, you can take walks in nature, you can explore friendly budget hobbies, basically go out to ski, maybe go out mountain biking, something doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. Next, you got to be prioritizing yourself financially, putting your needs first. Remember, you first for financials, not everything else. So remember, financial minimalism is not about self-sacrifice. It's about empowering yourself to make more conscious financial decisions that align with your values and goals. So if you adopt a pay yourself first, basically pay yourself first mentality by setting aside savings before covering other expenses, automate your transfers to your savings accounts to avoid spending temptations and ensure you are prioritizing your financial future. So by embracing these principles of financial minimalism, you can cultivate a life of simplicity, clarity, and financial freedom. But you always have to remember, the journey towards financial freedom is not about achieving perfection. It's about making consistent progress toward a more mindful and fulfilling relationship with money. Because money is not the enemy here. It's basically your mind and how do you use that money to fulfill your goals. Now, if you understand that money is a tool, not something you must have every single time, but as long as you know how to manage it, it'll make you really successful and happy. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any more qu comments or questions, make sure to click the subscribe button down below and a like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.